I wanted to achieve. I wanted to be the best in my profession. I had big shoes to fill. My father was Tommy Smith, TJ Smith, Australia's greatest trainer. And no one, including Dad, thought I would take on training and no one thought I'd be successful. And I suppose it was a will to want him to not prove that Dad had any uh, question mark, but maybe show Dad that the, the, the love and everything that he'd given me and shown me over the years was well founded and that, you know, I, I could do something like this. to the races when I was at university. I started going with friends and then when I was a young lawyer I was involved in the privatisation of um, the Queensland TAB and I got interested in the business of racing and how racing is funded. What I find inspiring is just being a part of an industry that I love and being able to make a difference. If you have passion for something then that comes through. When we see the sunrise our mornings are very early. We start, Noel and I are probably out in the stables by about 3.30. Um, I ride all morning. Um, the track closes at 9, so I basically ride between 10 and 12 horses in the morning. Hard work, long hours, and lots of honesty. <laughs> and this beautiful world own, so you know, so My role has always been on the organisational and promotion side of racing. Um, I've been had some great opportunities put my way. I, I spent seven years in Newmarket. I was in Dubai for 11 years with the Dubai World Cup. Um, and to be here now, I, I'm, I'm really grateful for those opportunities. But I think I've had to work really hard. I think as a woman, you possibly have to work a bit hard and, and um, be very driven to, to achieve what you want to achieve here. I don't see gender as, as a consideration in our business, I just see people who want to succeed, whatever they want to do, training, syndication, riding, whatever people want to do, I think there's a, a place for all of us, if it's your passion, go for it. I actually haven't uh, found it difficult at all being a girl in, in, in a men's environment, if you will. Um, I've had quite a lot of opportunities along the way and I've grabbed them with both hands and won't, won't let them go. I'm the first female that fronted a wagering company and that was a huge game changer for Tabcorp and for myself and for women, especially in such a male dominated industry. Women have a, a, a growing role both in administration of race clubs and I think that that's really encouraging. I like to hope that we bring a, you know, perhaps a more softly, gently approach. I think it's about encouraging everybody to be part of it. I don't necessarily cite just the girls, although we've had many a fabulous ad campaign that if the girls come, the boys follow. You know, like I have to say, I'm encouraging a whole pile of 18 to 24 year olds who are at uni at the moment to get them to come out more because they're going to be the future movers and shakers in our community. And if you can get them now to love racing and be part of this, you hopefully have gotten for the rest of their lives. I worked in seven different countries. Um, I travelled the world, I went twice around the world um, with, with racing and uh, although we have broken into the uh, industry as trainers, there are still only three or four of us in Metropolitan Sydney, so a little bit more room for movement there I think.